Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repo Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencast, please search for VAR 2015 or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at design options within Revit. Here I am in Revit 2016. In the Manage tab of the ribbon, Design Options panel, I have Design Options. I also have it down here in the Status Toolbar as well. So what is Design Options? Design Options allows you to create the Revit model with different schemes, all as a single model, and display the views accordingly so that the owner can see different iterations of their design and not have to worry about creating multiple Revit models. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm here in level one, I'm going to switch to roof plan. And what I want to do is I want to create design options for different main roof designs and maybe an entry roof design. So he can see how it would look if they're different designs. I'll click design option. It brings up the design option window. We'll create two design option sets. The first one, we will select it, we'll call it the main roof. The second one, we will rename it and call it the entry roof. Within these two design option sets, we can have as many designs as we want. We're going to call, we're going to create a couple more here, and we'll create a couple more here as well. And in, for the main roof, we're going to rename the first design option as being 9 and 12 slope. We'll do option 2, renaming this as 6 and 12 slope. And design option 3 is going to be renamed 3 and 12 slope. And we'll do the same thing for the entry roof. We're going to rename this and say curved entry. And we'll rename this one and call it stepped entry. And then this one we'll rename this as being um, angled entry. So now that we have the design options defined, we can start working. Down here in the status toolbar where it says main model, that's what it's showing if any of the objects that have been created, they're set right now as default as being the main model. I want to go ahead and start working with the main 9 and 12 primary slope roof. We'll go to the architecture tab, use the roof by uh, footprint command, we'll do a one foot overhang, and we will create the roof like that. Uh, we'll define the slopes as well. And actually, let's do two foot overhang. And they will all be 9 and 12 slope. So if we select the line work, it should say 9 and 12. Okay. Hit the green check mark, and we have finished creating this main roof as the 9 and 12 slope. If I switch this back to main model, uh, then I can see the main model information underneath. I'm going to go ahead and move over to 6 and 12 slope. You notice that the 9 and 12 slope object has disappeared because it knows it belongs to that particular design option. And we'll go through the process again, creating a roof, two foot overhang. Um, and we'll do this, and we'll make it 6 and 12. And to verify, again, double check a line, one or two lines at 6 and 12, finish it. And we'll do the same thing for the third. We'll do a roof and tab, and they're all going to be 3 and 12. Finish it. And so now I have, if I look in 3D, I have the 3 and 12 slope. There's the 6 and 12. There's the 9 and 12. If I switch this to main model, the main model portion shows up bolder. Let's go to the level 1. Well, let's go level 2. We'll go to level 2, and we'll build the entry roof design. So we'll say uh, roof by footprint again, and we'll do the curved one first. And we'll make sure that none of them have a slope. So that's flat. And then we'll switch 
if by chance you're designing and you've accidentally put it on the wrong set, you can click the button Add to Set and put it to the entry roof curve. That's what I want. Hit OK. Done. So now we'll head back over to the curved, and you should see it, and the main should disappear lightly. Let's go ahead over to the stepped entry and do the same thing again, but this time picking it to be a stepped design. And that basically just means that we're doing it at, say, a five foot offset like this. And finish the line work. Clean up the lines. Again, we want them all to not have slope. So it's flat. There's my stepped design. And then we want angled. So we'll do the same thing again. No overhang. And the angled one is going to be something like this. And we'll delete this little segment, clean up this corner, and we'll finish it. So now that we have them all created, we want to look at this in 3D. And we want to set it up so that we can have multiple 3D views showing different designs. So I'm going to duplicate it a couple times. And the first one I'm going to rename and call it uh, 9, 12, and curved. Do this one as 6, 12, and stepped. And then we'll do this one as 3, 12, and angled, like so. So how do we set this up? We'll open up Visibility Graphics dialog box. We'll go to Design Options. For the main, we want this to be 3 and 12. And for the entry, we want this to be angled. So we'll do that. We hit OK. Done. Head over to 612 step. Same thing. Go to Design Options. Make sure this says 6 and 12. Make sure this one says stepped. And then lastly, 9 and 12. Uh, go over here and make sure that this says 9 and 12 and make sure that this says curved. Done. If I tile all three, we can see how they look. And we'll switch this back to main model. There you go. Those are the three different design option designs uh, within uh, Revit 2016. Lastly, when we go to the design options, we can get rid of things we don't need. Where it says primary in parentheses, that means it's the one that we want it to be at the end of the day. Uh, maybe this needs to be the one that we want at the end of the day. So we'll click and we'll say we'll make that primary. We'll make this one primary as well. We'll delete the ones that we know that the owner doesn't want to work with. So we'll hit delete. It will delete any views that are using that design. So I'm going to continue doing this. And when I'm all said and done, I am left with the one design option that makes the most sense for the client. And that's it. That's design options in Revit 2016. Thank you very much for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.